Hello everyone, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard. Welcome back to the video series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to have your clients add their own pets to your database using the new client form. And I'll also show you how your clients can request appointments using the appointment request form. So on your homepage here, if you scroll to the very bottom, you will see a two buttons, one that says new client registration and one that says uh, schedule appointment. These lead you to your the website where you can uh, have your clients submit their information using the new client registration form and also schedule appointment. You can also find these pages listed up here in the under the services at the very bottom appointment request page and new client registration. So let's start with new client registration, show you how it works. We're going to come here, this yellow box, you can read if you want to when you have time. It just shows you how it works, but your clients do not see that. So you're going to copy and paste the link up here at the very top, and you're going to put that on your website using that piece of code from right here. If you copy this piece of code and put it into your website, this little button will show up on your website, and your clients can click that, and it'll take them directly to your new client request, uh, new client registration form. And here's how this works. Your clients come here and they're just basically going to fill out their information and their pet's information and they're going to upload it to your system and you're going to get a request that says a notification saying so and so submitted information. Do you want to accept it? If you accept it, it gets added into your database and you don't have to do any entry. So let's pretend I am a client of Muddy Pups Boarding and Daycare and I go to their website. I click on that button on their website that says new client registration. And now I'm here and I say, okay, I need to fill my owner information. My name is Jill uh, Meyer. My phone number is going to be always 555 something. And I'll put Jill underscore. I got to type better. Jill underscore Meyer at example.com. And then my address, I'll put in 555 Dog Street. And this is going to be, uh, we'll put in something like Chicago. We use Chicago a lot. And so there we go. We're good to go. Her first dog is going to be a beagle named, uh, what's the beagle's name be? We'll write Luna, the beagle. And there's going to be a spade female. And she's going to be Brindle. If you notice here, the names of the vaccines are the names of the vaccines that we have up here in the, if we go back here and go up to our account settings, if we click on account settings, jumping around too much, you'll see that the names of the vaccines that we have listed here, those four are showing up in the new client request page, which is how they should. So she can say her vaccines are all going to be sometime in the future but let's say her fleas is going to be uh going to be expired and then she's going to upload a picture right here of her dog this was a beagle so let's find a beagle picture i'm sure we have one there we go very cute little beagle i must say crop that picture and that's going to upload and then the next one she's going to upload her proof of vaccination so she'll take a picture with her phone clicking that camera right there is what usually people will do and then they'll find the picture of the vaccines i'll just use one of these vaccines here it says ralph vaccines but these are just demos anyways so upload those ralph miller vaccines and then we'll do add a second pet and the next one's going to be vaccine the this pet would be called we have luna and let's have one named uh lacy and she's going to be a black lab. She's going to be a spade female, uh, black and white. We'll skip all this other information, but of course we could add anything we want to down here. You can also add custom questions to your form. If you go to customize new client registration form and click there, you can add custom questions here that you want your clients to answer when they fill out your forms. There is a special video you can watch here um, called the tutorial video right there. Click on that. That's a very in-depth video showing you how to use this. I won't go into detail there. But you can add three custom owner questions up here and five custom pet questions for each. But let's just add Lacey the Black Lab. We'll upload a picture of her right there. And then crop that. Looks good to go. And we'll upload another vaccine. We'll just say it's uh, Duke Vaccines, even though it's not named Duke. We'll just use that one. These are just dummy records, basically. And so everything looks good. Your client's going to put answer the security question there, submit the form. And so now what's going to happen is this is going to get sent to 
doggy dashboard, your client will see the success message saying, thanks, Jill. Uh, thanks for do signing up. And you're going to get an email from doggy dashboard that says, hi, Muddy Pup Sporting and Grooming. Jill Meyer just submitted your information. Here's all the information she submitted. Here's her pet information down here. Here's the other pet she in submitted. If you want to, let's go to doggy dashboard. And you click the link that says, take me to doggy dashboard. That'll bring you to your doggy dashboard homepage, which is right here. And you're going to see a blinking notification there. When we click on that notification, it's going to say, Jill Miller submitted your new client information form with two pets. So we're going to click take action. We're going to look at the information she submitted. Let's say we found a typo here and we said, oh, it's actually not Dog Street, it's Dog Avenue. We would just fill it in. Make any changes to the data because it hasn't been added into your database yet. Luna the Beagle looks good. There's our picture. We have Lacey the Black Lab. Picture looks good. So we're going to save those in our database. And now we're done. Jill Miller just got added to our database. If we go here to our client's database, you'll see that we have Jill Miller now, James Johnson, Holly Williams. If we click on Jill Miller or Jill Meyer, you can see there we have Lacey is showing up with her picture. And if we refresh the page, Luna should show up here in a few seconds. There she is, Luna the Beagle, Lacey the Black Lab. And there we go. We're all set. And that is how you use the new client registration form. And now let's say Jill Meyer wants to request an appointment. So it's on your website, once again, you're going to copy and paste the code for this schedule appointment button here. And that's going to put this schedule appointment button on your website. So she is on your website. She clicks schedule appointment and it brings her to the appointment request page. And she goes, okay, my name is Jill Meyer. My phone number is this. And, and my email is jill underscore meyer at example.com. She just wants it for Luna the Beagle. So she puts the name of her dog there. And she says, I want a boarding appointment from the 10th of November until the 17th. Say, we need to drop off Luna for boarding. We're going to take, um, what was the other dog? I can't remember. Luna and we're, taking, we're going to take our other dog with us. I make so many fake dog names up that I can sometimes forget them. We're going to submit the appointment request. And now you and your email are going to get an email saying, hi, Muddy Pups Boarding and Daycare. Jill Meyer just requested an appointment with your business. So once again, we're going to go to the notifications. And we're going to see that Jill Meyer requested an appointment. We're going to take action. And now Jill Meyer, we can look down here at our calendar. It looks like we're pretty much wide open with availability. And so why don't we uh, look, it says Luna from the 10th to the 17th. So we're going to click here to create an appointment. And we'll start typing in Luna and she pops right up from the 10th. It's already filled in to the 17th, already filled in. She didn't give us time. So let's say we're just going to do 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. We'll make it a boarding appointment and we'll schedule that appointment. And there we go. Luna's on the calendar. And if we go to our main homepage calendar, we scroll down. We'll see that Luna has been scheduled in at 8 a.m. on November 10th to 5 p.m. on November 17th. That is how the appointment request page works. It works in conjunction with um, pretty much the website very well. Your clients cannot request specific times because you would have to set a time for every single day when you can accept pets and it would take a lot of time. And so your clients will normally request the time of day they want an appointment. So they might do something like this where they'll say, we want uh, we want to drop off Jackson at 5 a.m. and pick him up at 7 p.m. And then you just look at these times in the request when it comes in and you select those times uh, for your pets. There might be in the future times for dropping off and times for picking up. But as I said, it's a lot of work for business owners like yourself because you're going to have to go through every day of the week and say, okay, what time is our drop off times and pick up times for today? What about this day, this day, this day? And then all the holidays, you're going to have to change them because holidays are different in different states. So we can't automatically say that it's going to be a holiday for you this day. So it's just easier to have your customers write their information there. And that is how you use the new client request form and the appointment request page. Thanks a lot. Bye.